you recognise the glove. Don't you? You do recognise the glove. Hmm? Tomorrow we've got um, Dave coming down from Icarus Falconry. Let's go have a little chat. A little catch up about the... Um, have a little chat about the Falconry gathering at the end of September. We're going to spend a little bit of social time together with Dave and Jackie. Dave's uh, lovely wife. So we're going to do them a little bit of a barbecue. Probably have a couple of beers and a nice sort of walk and and uh, maybe we'll do a little film and get Dave to and ask Dave to tell us a little bit about it, a little bit more than I know. First of all I'm just going to give Woody a little way up and just see how he's doing in his malt. Wood is always about 112, 112 and a half. A few more weeks, maybe about five weeks, and probably start getting Woody ready to start flying again and hunting. So uh, a little catch up on Woody before Dave comes down tomorrow. He's looking really good. He's had a lovely molt. He's got a couple of tail feathers still coming down, but um, they're almost down now, so he's done really well. Look who we got here come to visit. <laughs> Dave from the Falconry Channel. Welcome Dave. Yeah, nice to be here. Yeah. With the very various dogs and <laughs> we've had a few beers, haven't we? And yeah, a few beers, barbecue, a little barbecue, walk. Had a nice walk really with, the, nice. with the dogs and the Bedlingtons. The yeah. girls have got in for chin wag now, haven't they? Yep. <laughs> chin wagging all the way around the field. <laughs> we were just having a little chat about the event that's coming up at the end of September, the 28th and the 29th. Yeah, be there. Or be square exactly yeah <laughs> so what's that going to entail so, so we've been having a chat we? i've been trying to sort of tell you the the hopes and the plans mm. so while we're recording this i can tell you 40 people have now bought tickets up front they've, they've bought their tickets go online pete will put a link in the description he doesn't we've, know that yet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reason we're asking people to buy tickets online it will save you a pound or two but obviously that's irrelevant to you mm. but you'll get a, you know a little tiny bit off than if you come on the day and just pay on your gate on the day but it's the first one. And we really need to get a gauge of how many people are gonna turn up. And that's gonna impact on the bar, the, the tea room, the burger van, mm. and what we do. And it's gonna be really hard. So the more of you that take part in this, yeah, the more, the better it'll be, really. And it's, I find it amazing how much work you've actually done to try and get these people here. And it's a hell of a lot of work, so it'd be great yeah. if you get the numbers that you want there. Yeah, uh, it kind of didn't start out like a lot of work in my head. We're, we're open that weekend anyway. It's our last weekend opening of the summer openings. So we're open to the public as well, as, as us, the public. Um, and I thought the, the brainchild was, there's Falconers fairs going on here and there. The game fairs have killed off any Falconer involvement at the game fairs now. More or less, it's hard. Um, everything's too overpriced. And the Falconer is quite small now. So I thought, we'll just do a gathering. That's what it's called, a Falconer gathering. Just 
us lot. Mm. Let's all get together in central England, where it's easier for everyone, um, and have a good crack. But yeah, then it's kind of you think, well, I know people that really want to bring their trade stands, and then it's like, well, people want trade stands because we all like to browse the kit, don't we? And, and Absolutely. Have yeah. a fiddle and a touch and kick the tyres and hopefully buy some stuff. Um, yeah, and it's kind of, mm, mm, why am I doing this? It's more involved than you think. And I must say, Pete, it's a massively team-wide thing. Yes, I, I'm sure. I get to be like the front man, everyone, because isn't Dave done this and he hasn't? Mm. It's not me. It's everyone else that's really on board. And the whole of your team as well. Yeah, you've had some good. You've got some good people helping you. You're going to have a few displays, hoods. Yes, hood so makers, glove so makers. We've got various trade confirmed or paid to confirm or probably going to come um, some of the names I've wanted to come can't they've got other commitments whether it's family um, they won't have enough stock holidays but we've got a couple of hood makers mm -hmm. um, go on the Facebook page which will be on the screen now mm, yeah <laughs> there it is <laughs> um, we've got a couple of artists we've got a stick maker we've got gloves um, makers yeah. mm. we've got um, Tom's come in with his special anklets and so on and so forth and we're just trying to get as many different trades but really about falconry. A few rather. chats as well there I believe. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I want it to be about Pete. Yeah. I want it to be about the gathering not just buying and selling. I want that to really bring you guys in because there's mm. as many traders as possible. We all do like it. Yeah. It's really a gathering so I want it to be a bit of a social. Yeah. So Pete and I and Mercer, Dan Mercer, full career. This is the bit I want to be the best fun, is we're going to be behind a desk and you're going to field questions. Yes. Yeah. I don't care whether they're serious mm. or we'll you want to rip it out of us. <laughs> we'll try and have an answer for your questions, but I think that would be fun. Or throw tomatoes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're going to have full on like, you know, <laughs> plastic things over us to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for the smelly eggs and that. Why yeah, have you given people that idea, Pete? I just, uh, <laughs> I've got to bring a change of clothes. Not on one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that would be a good, a good, you know, just a good old crack sort of thing. So you, you've got some beer, a beer tent or beer? Yeah, you're not having my beer, but there will be a beer trailer there beer or trailer, a beer, yeah. like horse box beer tent. Yep. Um, um, that's food, she's going to Food be burgers. Yeah, so we've got a burger van, um, and we've also got the on-site tea room, which is an award-winning tea room with you know pastries and mm. cake. It's absolutely delicious. beautiful. So yeah, you don't have to be an alcoholic. There's other beverages there. Yeah. The thing that's caused the stir mm. is <clears throat> you you can't bring your own food on site. Why not? Because people, we just cannot stop people feeding birds in, on displays. No chance. And we cannot <laughs> stop people feeding birds in aviaries, or we cannot, people just don't pick up their litter, and that's just the thing that happens every weekend. You can eat in the, <laughs> no chance, <laughs> you can eat in the car park field, and people say, oh, I don't want to eat in a car park. Look, this isn't a car park. It's a massive field of beautiful countryside views. Bring your own picnic, you can have a wristband on, you can go and have your own food, and come back in. The same with the drink. And on that line, people, another thing people are worried about is, these bloody things here. Come here. Dogs. <laughs> you can, dogs. Oh, I can't, I'm not cooked. Yeah. I can't bring my dog. Well, listen, most of the places I want to go, I can't take my dog. I can't take my zoo. You couldn't take your dog to Charlie's Falkery Fair. You know, we've all got dogs and we all love them. But you can leave them in your van or your car and you can exercise them in the car park field. It's the end of September. Mm. It might be when summer starts because it hasn't started yet. No. I wouldn't want to leave my dog in my car. So there are the downsides. And another one, Pete, is camping. Yeah. Another yeah. field, oh, it's causing me so much grief. Most people are going to Billing Aquadrome if you want to camp, you want to hire a static, you want to hire a glamping pod, that's what all people are doing. Billing Aquadrome's not far away, and it's there's a bar, there's showers, there's all the amenities, and it's, you want to camp, fine. Clear off, go and have a damn good night, come back the next day. Mm. And everyone's saying, oh, well, that's, you know, you've got to change that. Well, my Fulcrum Centre, our Fulcrum Centre is it's in a, the grounds of a stately home that they live in. I know what you guys are like. <laughs> I know, for real, when you're all having a few beers at night at, in the middle of a Fulcrum fair, mm. it, I, I just can't get it sanctioned. It can't happen. And if you can't come because you don't want to camp 15 or 20 minutes away, but I'm sorry, because I, I want everyone to come. You know, we'll say I, I want everyone to come and, and make it a real special gathering, but some things I can't make happen. 
Yeah, and that's for sure. Because it's all going to be fork and rebased, um, and a great get together, isn't it? That's, that's what, what it's all about. about. All the four colours in Great Britain and beyond, all getting together in one place. Mm. Um, I'm lucky enough I've been to the Spanish Sky Trials more than one, one time in different parts of Spain. And you know what, they just get it right. They don't, it's not commercial in any way. They mm. don't like, make the ticket prices of 40 quid to get in. Or mm. It's just all the four colours go there. They watch for the birds fly. I know it's different, we can't do Sky Trials like that here. But, it's, you know, they're having a few beers. No, it's not a hedgehog. They're having a few beers and they you know, they all yeah. eat at their cars and have yeah. a good old get together and chill. We're social. Yeah. Full can we social? That's what it what I'd yeah. like to be. So we can all have a chat and um, I, I believe on Sunday you've got a, a little band playing as well. Yeah, so we've got a, a local band, yeah, that are coming to do it that, out of the goodness of their heart. Um, do some good covers and that, yeah. So mm. that I think that'll add to the atmosphere yeah. in between the slots. Yeah. So we're gonna try and have something going on in half an hour slots so not everything will be for half an hour but we'll divide the day up into half an hour slots <laughs> gonna get a lesson that flying displays our funny bit with the youtube yeah uh, mm -hmm. maybe people like bob dalton is going to do a talk about the lugger project as much as we can it's interesting to focus with, with birds flying as well um, if you fly a really good display bird of any kind i don't care if it's a barn owl or a kestrel up to a stellar sea eagle and that's top notch absolutely 99% guaranteed isn't going to sit in a tree fly away and ruin the whole event by slowing down this if you've got something you want to show off get in touch because mm. I'm really looking for two or three people we've got Elijah Beavis is bringing a new ladder falcon he's always fantastic at flying his ladders so I certainly don't want to be us flying all the birds I'd really like to see some real top notch yeah Brilliant. Uh, yeah, not top notch because it's a rare species. You can fly a really good bird with a good commentary, and you want us to do the commentary. Yeah, how nice that would that be, be nice. Yeah, so yeah. You know, we want it to be interactive. Yeah, and that can be people that have not been doing shows, but they know the hawk. Or the yeah, if they think Vulcan's that they, you know, they fly in a place where their bird just sees all sorts of rubbish and thousands of people and just doesn't care, mm. and you know it's just bomb proof. Get in touch. You know, it's yeah. a, a good, a good bird of the commonest species. Mm can make for a fantastic display for mm. sure and interesting so it's just going to be a brilliant weekend come along book your tickets yeah. don't yeah. bring one of these don't bring one of these <laughs> this dog's left us alone all bloody day bloody annoying things these things now we're filming well, like this <laughs> decided to bring the ball up commonly asked questions can i bring a dog and a hook yes you can't bring it in on site but you can keep it in your car in the car park field um, don't you can't block your bird out unless you're standing with it all the time because if we fly a chili and blue eagle buzzard it can see your bird, it will stoop and might eat your bird on the block. Uh, you can't bring your birds on site whatsoever. I've gone over that in the videos on the Facebook page. Yeah. Why? You can't bring your dogs. You can't camp on site, but there's lots of other options. Mm. Food and drink on site or have a picnic back at your car. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, traders, if you traders, if you want to yeah. if you want to stand there, we're hiring in gazebo three meters by three meters. A hundred for the whole weekend guys token amount 100 quid for the whole weekend or and they're 150 quid if you want a double one a six meter by three meter gazebo so if you've got art you make full curry kit come and bring it to sell it for, i'm hoping a really cheap 100 quid i think for the weekend it's good isn't it? and that's that's i think that's a pretty good price absolutely and we, we could do with some more so get in touch for sure for sure yeah okay you bring dog tranquilizers and um, Pete's dog needs some if you sell those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>